If you are running a wholesale online store, this video may be for you. As a wholesaler, you may want your clients to order a minimum or maximum quantity from your store. With this, clients cannot just come to your website and add only one quantity to the cart. So in this video, I will show you how to set minimum and maximum order quantity in WooCommerce. Coming up. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. That's it. Let's jump into the video. This is the website I want to set minimum and maximum order quantity. So if I scroll down and choose a particular product, in here you see that defaultly I can add only one quantity to the cart. And as a wholesaler, I don't want my clients to be able to add only one quantity to the cart. So this is where minimum and maximum order quantity comes in. To make my clients order minimum quantities, I need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website, then I go over to plugins, click on add new. Inside search plugins, I search for WooCommerce minimum. I can just enter WooCommerce min. And this is the plugin I'm going to install. Min max quantity and step control for WooCommerce by code astrology. You have other options like this one this one or even this one but for this tutorial this is the plugin i'm going to install so i click on install now then i go ahead and activate the plugin is activated successfully next i hover on woocommerce then i click on mean max step quantity now there are two ways you can set minimum and maximum quantity for your store you can decide to do it for each and every single product on your store or you can give it a global settings at once so whatever you do here will affect all your products on your store it should be noted that there are more settings you can go ahead and do with this plugin but most of them are in the pro version of the plugin so if you want to unlock the full potential of this plugin you need to check out the pro version of the plugin so for instance if you want your minimum and maximum other quantity to affect some particular categories you can go ahead and set those categories in here but you will need the pro version in order to do that and there are a whole lot of other settings you can go ahead and perform with the pro version but for this tutorial we are only going to use the free version of the plugin so in here if i come and enter maybe 10 as the minimum order quantity what this means is that 10 will now be the default quantity for my products in here i can go ahead and set a maximum quantity so if i don't want my clients to order more than a particular quantity i'll just go ahead and enter that quantity in here so for instance if i don't want my clients to order more than 50 i'll just go ahead and enter 50 in here next is the quantity step if my clients are going to increase from 10 to whatever number how much of quantities can they add at a time so if i leave it as one meaning anytime they want to increase from 10 they will get an incremental value of 1. So if I enter 2, meaning if they want to increase, so from 10, it will move to 12, 14, 16 in that order. So for now, let's leave it as 1 and go ahead and see all. So this being said, let's go to our product and refresh. You see that my default number of quantities is now 10. So if I try to increase, it will increase by 1 in that order. So let me quickly take it to a quantity like 45 and I want to increase to 50. So I've gotten to the maximum number of quantities. So if I try to increase further, I won't be able to increase further because the maximum number of quantities clients can order is 50. So now if I open any other product, maybe this one, you see that the default quantity is 10. So these settings we have done here will run through all our products. Perfect. Now let's take it further by changing the quantity step. Now I want my clients to be able to increase their quantities by 5. So I'll have to enter 5 in here and i go ahead and save it. It is saved. Now if I go back in here and refresh. Now if I try to increase the quantity, you see that I will not be able to increase it by 1. It can only be increased by 5. Let's see it in action. You see that. So from 10 to 15 from 15 to 20 in that order perfect now let's see how we can set the minimum and maximum quantity 
for a particular product so if i edit this product i scroll down in here i click on mean maximum and step you see that the values in here is off because it is using the global settings so i can come in here and say that the minimum number of quantities should be 20 for this particular product and then the maximum number of quantities may be 100 and then the quantity step can be 10. so what i've done here means i'm overriding the global settings we performed right here so i go back and i go ahead and update it now let's take a look in here you now see that the minimum order quantity is 20. so if i try to increase it will increase by 10. you see that so if i get to 100 i won't be able to go further because 100 happens to be the maximum order quantity awesome now giving your product whatever minimum maximum and step quantity will depend upon your business model for some wholesale business model so far as they have the minimum order quantity they don't need the maximum order quantity if you are capable of buying for instance from 10 they don't care whatever maximum quantity you want to add and like i said everything will depend upon your business model so now let's see the other quantities in action so for instance if i reduce this to maybe the minimum and i go ahead and add it to cat automatically i'll have quantity 20 in my cat so if i go ahead and view the cat you see that i have quantity 20 and in here i can still go ahead and increase it to whatever quantity i want and with this i can proceed to check out and place my order so that's it on how to set minimum and maximum order quantity in WooCommerce. Now, if you want to add wholesale pricing to your e-commerce website, I have a video in the description down below that will take you through step by step how to do that. So I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that you miss out on future videos. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.